Hey Taurus, welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Taurus, we have the desert and the village, the heart, the queen, and the sustainer. Ooh, Taurus, I felt like this. Don't you understand what you left me in? Like, don't you understand what you created? Don't you understand what really happened? And I want to say almost that there's an idea here of somebody saying something to you that moves you. I don't know. Like, I just, I feel like there's this idea of, of an acknowledgement that like sometimes we, we have to, to go through some gnarly experiences in life, not because we are deserving of those bad experiences, but because sometimes those bad experiences are safer and better than what the alternative experience was. And it's like the lesser of two evils. And, and just because you choose a lesser of two evils does not mean that you have to always choose the lesser of two evils. Sometimes you choose the lesser of two evils so you can grind through the one that's going to give you the most opportunity and then you take that to that next level, right? You can't be short-sighted with what you're doing. And I almost feel like there's an idea of like somebody saying to you, or you could be on the other side of the fence, obviously take this how it resonates, but somebody saying to you or you saying to them, you know, like you can't, you can't let yourself get stuck in the lesser of two evils. You have to utilize your opportunities as they present themselves and keep an eye out for when the door opens to move in another direction. Because sometimes the lesser of two evils allow us to develop the skills that we need to go into the next journey, the next leg of our life so that we can practice more compassion, so that we can have a better understanding so that we can be more complete in our humanity, you know, because it's the good and the bad, you know, like it's, it's developing understanding, you know, the human experience is, is an opportunity to understand the spiritual experience through a different lens. And there's a lot to understand. There's a lot to experience. There's a lot to develop. Um, I just want to say like, like just because you were in the lesser of two evils does not mean that you have to stay in the lesser two, of two evils. But I feel like there's some anger and some resentment about having to be in that situation in the first place. And I just want to say, of course you feel that way. That's only natural. Like if you don't feel that way, then there's something wrong. <laughs> because how are you going to be motivated to move if you're comfortable? How are you going to be motivated to move if you are aware of the fact that you're existing in something that isn't what you want or deserve. Taurus. Whew, I don't know, y'all. The energy today is like heavy. I like I couldn't even wake up this morning. <laughs> I was like, I can't move. I feel like I have an emotional hangover. <laughs> okay. Whew. Taurus. I feel like you feel that way too. <laughs> Nine of Swords. Full at the bottom of the deck. Um, I do feel like there is kind of this motivation, motivational talk. Like you're being, getting pumped up. You know, like somebody's pumping you up. They, they got to reinflate you. They got to bring you back to life. Because I feel like there's this idea of like, you can crawl through the ick, but eventually the ick gets you. And if nobody's going to help you to like get that ick off of you or get you away from that ick, then the ick will, will take you down. You know, I feel like there's an idea of like, okay, yes, the clock has been ticking, but like, we've all been hearing the clock. We are all aware of the fact that they're like, the time is running out. You haven't been forgotten. I just feel like it's like, it's like strength training, you know, 
And it's like you just got to push through. Sometimes you just have to push through. But when you have pushed through, you're ripped. <laughs> you know, like you're ready to go. You might be upset that you had to go through that. But like the results in the end were still desirable results. And I feel like you're getting, I feel like this, like you're being pumped up to go in a new direction. And I feel like you're, like you're starting to kind of, you know, like you're working through this anger and this resentment and this like, well, what else was I supposed to do? You know, and, and becoming more aware of the fact that it's not always about succumbing to your environment. Sometimes it's about knowing your, like knowing what's going on around you you know, learning to love the people around you, learning to accept the situations around you and, and having the strength to, you know, practice that level of, of empathy and, and, um, and still being able to honor yourself and still knowing that like, just because you can love people where they're at, doesn't mean that that's where you have to be. Right. course. We'll stack here. Yeah, because I feel like there's, again, it's just this energy of feeling like being left in the cold, being left behind, wondering why. You know, and just feeling like you're missing out, but also like you held on, like there's a part of you that held hope that someday things would change and you would get what you deserved because you deserve so much better. And I feel like it's being presented to you. And I feel like almost this idea of like, when it's presented to you, you feel a little bit of of like resentment at first because it's like well why didn't you do that before and it's like well because there's a journey that has to be like that has to be traversed and and I had to build up the endurance in order to be able to come back into this you know what I mean and it's just kind of like like I had to build strength you had to build strength they had to build strength you know what I mean I feel like it's just this like just an acknowledgement if nothing else that like sometimes we all have to figure some things out and it's not, you know, an always and forever abandonment so much as it is like a, a lesser of two evils. Just don't get locked in that mentality that you are now a part of that lesser evil. You're just there for the for like a time being. But I feel like you're being lifted up out of that Taurus. Um, but you're just, you're experiencing a little bit of like... You know, like irritated gratitude, like, well, gee, thanks for showing up now or, you know, but like relief that, that like your opportunity did show. Yeah, I do. I feel like there's just kind of like, like you have some things to say about, you know, decisions that were made and the way that it affected you and the way that it left you feeling and, and, you know, like you want your truth to be acknowledged um, and I feel like, you feel like you have to trust your intuition, that you'll be safe enough to do that. You know, because sometimes we don't feel safe enough to speak our truth. And I feel like you haven't felt safe enough to speak your truth. And I feel like maybe you're feeling safe enough to speak your truth now. Um, and I think you're finding that your truth is openly embraced. Um, and I think you're just irritated that it took so long. <laughs> All right, Taurus. Let's see what else we can get for y'all. The shadow. Yeah, because sometimes you just have to sort through it. Sometimes you just have to, you know, like allow for that like allow your truth to be spoken because it, it it's like name it and tame it. You know what I mean? Like, like get it out, say what you need to say, be honest, you know, like it's, it's okay to feel like things weren't fair because there are so many things in life that aren't fair and you're not alone in that feeling. 
And sometimes when you speak your truth, you find that you're able to connect in that truth so much more sincerely than you were when you were trying to connect in some other format, <laughs> you know? Um, but I feel like positive things are on the horizon, Taurus, and I love that for y'all. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe if this resonates, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.